Diglett's Cave. Diglett dug this long tunnel. It was right to Viridian City. Alright. Let's see if we can find a Diglett. Oh, Diglett. Diglett. Where are you? Here we go. How about we sing? No, nope, we're gonna miss. Okay, we'll try again. Alright, quit while it's asleep. Mega punch! Well, I didn't mean to faint it. Pokemon Leaf Green. We are in Diglett's Tunnel, heading to pick up the HM for Flash. And we still need to catch one of these bad boys. Oh no, he's gonna hit us with Sand Attack. Well, holy crap. Okay, maybe I need to rethink my strategies here. Wigglytuff is going to faint everything, I mean... How strong is our Wigglytuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's try just a tackle from Ivysaur. Or not. That's a lot better. And Diglett get? Diglett is got. Lives around one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. doing this episode before bed so if I seem a little drowsy it's because I already popped my melatonin a long time ago now some of these diglet are bound to have arena trap as an ability so we're gonna have no choice but to knock some of them out but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it in the meantime Oh, right. <laughs> I guess it would help if we actually teach cut someone. Oh, Bell Sprout. I never did like the animations for that. You just stick a CD to their forehead. That's not how anything works. We were always led to believe it was a little machine. Maybe it had a little screen on it or something. I don't know. Seventeen. We need to go back and catch a handful of the Pokemon that we've missed. Mm 
I don't think there's anything of any importance in this little cabin here, but we'll check. Oh, I have to have it with me. All right, back through. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to Rock Tunnel, I'll be honest with you. That's the light, the long stretch of the game, and I'm not a fan of Rock Tunnel. Here's our first arena trap, Diglett. Why am I fighting this Diglett? Hey, I bet we can actually afford to buy some repels now. That's something I need to go look into. <laughs> we can also get our bike now. <laughs> okay. It's not telling me arena trap. It's just saying can't escape. Good lord, this tunnel lasts forever. Oof. Okay. I see an item. Uh, we haven't found anybody on this route yet either, have we? Okay, hold up. There's a lot to do. Hang on. First and foremost... Yes, do you carry any... Yes, you do! I don't care if it wipes out my wallet. All right, let's see. All right, what we'll do is we'll tackle this gym and then we'll head back east and we'll clear that route. Then we'll head back north. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that was fast. I'm still going to fight these trainers, though. <laughs> I have never in my life just walk into this gym and one, two, doors open. That's, that's, a, that's a first for me. Magnemite, you say? Ooh, but I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody strong against Magnemite. 
I don't have fire and I don't have fighting and I don't have water. That works. And they would paralyze us though. The good thing is I think we can leave the gym and go back and heal at the Pokemon Center and then come back. And I think the gate will still be open. I think. <sighs> We're gonna find out. And I don't have to waste items that way. Your turn, Sailor Man. <coughs> Dwayne. Dwayne. I'm glad that static only works if I touch them and not if they touch me. Just leaves the old man and then Lieutenant Surge himself. Gentleman Taka. I was hoping I had a regular potion so I didn't have to like waste but you do what you gotta do <laughs> I tell you kid electro Pokemon saved me during the war is that my enemies into paralysis the same as I do to you Good luck with that. Hmm. I'm using a grass type. Ooh, we did more damage the second time. Surge's Pikachu. I'm not too concerned about his Voltorb and his Pikachu. It's the Raichu that I'm worried about. But I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh no! <laughs> now if he does that enough, we definitely will be in a bind. Uh, 
As long as he doesn't full restore, we're golden. Ah, eh, you turd. We mi oh no, 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 no. This is going poorly. There we go. I don't think he'll use another full heal. There we go. All right, that was uh, simple enough. Way to go, Ivysaur. I want to say Ivysaur evolves into Venusaur at 32. Most starters evolve at 36. I think Ivysaur is 32. I could be wrong, but I think. Ooh, we can use Fly now. Well, I can't get Fly until we get through that rock cave, tunnel, dark cave, whatever it was called. Which might not be a bad idea to go ahead and cut through that tunnel so we can pick up our next Pokemon and then fight all the trainers on the routes. Because I don't want to end up with just three very strong Pokemon and then two or three weak ones that I caught really late in the adventure, you know what I mean? Alright, we'll save that route for our next Pokemon. Let's cut back to Ceruian, grab our bike. We're all about just killing chores. Boopity bippity boppity boppity. Bike, please. <laughs> I wonder how that guy got a bike voucher to begin with. No telling. zoom around this old town I see people looking and staring as I go by I like to ride my bike a sickle that's already a song let's steal it oh yeah what? Right. you're gonna use a lot of Nina Rands and stuff I got a feeling that a lot of people on this route are going to use Nina Rans Ran and stuff. We'll go Wigglytuff. Actually, let me look at my BM case. Let me see what we have now. We may end up raising an electric Pokemon. I don't know. My goal is not to just simply copy all the Pokemon that I usually catch and raise in the Kanto region. I, I wanted to try to raise some new ones that I don't typically raise. We're 
starting to get into OP territory where we're just knocking Pokemon out with one hit. We definitely need to try our best to get to the end of this route and catch something new. I knew it. I knew it deep down in my gut that we were going to end up paralyzed if that attack missed. Like she was waiting this whole time just to paralyze me. I'm not worried about my evasion. I don't know why you're spamming that. Okay, she didn't have any Nidoran. I was wrong. She was all about that grass. All about that grass, about that grass. Got some Pokemon, all about that grass. I'm bringing Vine Whip back. Ariel, as you say. Diglett! Diglett? I could germ. Why couldn't you just faint? Ooh, Onyx. You're the kid with the beedrill, I believe. Nope, a Growlithe, which makes this a terrible matchup. Whoops. <laughs> Unless you have a beedrill after this. Somebody up here has a beedrill. Charmander, okay. the Beedra. One of the few trainers that actually bothered to evolve their Pokemon. I 
I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting so tired. I shouldn't have waited so late to make this episode. Okay, and then that's just wild Pokemon. <laughs> bring it on. How about you bring it on, old man? Onyx. I didn't have to come over here and fight you. That was the wrong way. But now I gotta fight these two or three people. Please don't have like 18 Caterpie. Ugh. Level 20 Caterpie, you should be ashamed of yourself. Evolve your Pokemon, kid. Ooh, a Venonat. Confusion. Damn it. You're prolonging the inevitable. Oh, goody. Tackle just went right on through. I'll take it. It's the little victories in life, you know what I mean? But I will switch out since we're confused. Pidgeotto. Turn the other way. I'm trying to, I want to save these couple of trainers. I'm going to save them until we have another Pokemon to add to our team. Let's see. I know there's a Voltorb in here. Should I raise Voltorb or Magnemite? See, I'm not really sure which one I want to do. See, if I raise Voltorb, we can catch him now. Magnemite, we'd have to wait on the power plant, which means waiting on Surf, which means waiting all the way to... Um, Fuchsia City. Wow. Usually found in power plants. Easily mistaken for a Pokeball. It has zapped many people. Zap it is zap. Please heal my high team. I see a scientist.
It better not be the Everstone. Ah, it's the Everstone. Ooh, I can't, I can't have it anyway. I'm at 18 and not 20. La Terra. We'll get rid of Screech. Hey, but what else can you learn, old buddy, old pal, old friend, old chum? No. 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 So you're going to be a hard sell. <laughs> I can't teach you flash, however. All right, we'll see how this plays out. Voltorb it is. I don't know what level it evolves into Electrode, but uh, I don't think I've ever raised a Voltorb that I can recall. Pikachu! Whew. Well, goody. It's off to a fantastic start. And it missed. You're doing great, Voltor. A real champ out there. I don't know why I'm doing mean to Voltor, but it's first battle. Uh, first trainer battle. Oh no! Stop paralyzing me! Thank god we're right by a Pokemon Center. Clefairy, Clefairy, Clefairy. Clefairy. Well, that did work. I did follow that little finger around. Oh, son of a whore. Jesus. Let me just end this girl's career. Oh, she's trying to use Sing. <laughs> There'll be none of that. Not today, the lady. Tell you what let's do since i don't want to carry a bunch of pokemon around just because they know hms let's make a little deposit here a pokemon we're not going to use we're not going to use bell sprout we're not going to use diglett but we'll just go ahead and put them away what we'll do is go in and replace tackle with cut that way we'll always have the HM with us. We'll just make room on our team for the HMs. Even though I don't want to. Right, we'll do Growl instead. I'm never gonna use Growl. 
So let's cut and flash. I think Rock Smash is the absolute last HM we get. Waterfall being next to last, of course. and burn that repel. Navigating this bad boy without flash is quite difficult. It makes me wonder how many millions of people over the last 26 years have tried to navigate this tunnel without knowing <laughs> to go get flash. No, we're definitely not going to get through this entire cave in this episode. We'll have to cut somewhere in this cave and pick back up next time. We're not ready to end just yet, but um, just a heads up. This cave is not going to be a one episode thing. It's, it's going to be a two-parter. I don't like how much damage that tackle did. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Martha, uh, grass type. Well, thank goodness we have Sonic Boom. Oh, no. Nah, I see it, Howdy. Not when I'm already so naturally sleepy. picked Bulbasaur, Blue picked Charmander, and we saw a Squirtle from the trainer. So, we've seen all three starters.
Now, how did you hold on, little fella? Awakening, gold herb, potion, gold herb. Pokemon cosplay. Yeah, I know about cosplay. Hmm. Hmm. I went to one convention in my life. It was supposed to be like a mix of comic books and video games and just nerd culture in general. And um, I didn't wear a costume, but I did wear like a Pokemon hat. And I don't know if people mistook that for a costume because I was wearing a t-shirt and jeans like the character of the Pokemon trainer does. and. I had a backpack on that day to carry stuff around for the convention. So some people might have mistaken it for a costume, but no, I've I've never worn an, a, a costume to a convention and I've only been to that one convention. And it was pretty funny too, because I had my own vehicle at the time. I had a truck, like an extended cab truck. So it had a bench seat in the back. Um, and I took like two or three of my friends with me. No, I think there were four, four of us in total in the truck. And uh, including me. And we made it from one side of the state to the other. We went all the way across the state. And my fuel pump died. And the truck had to be towed all the way back home. <laughs> oh, thankfully, Tyler's sister lived near the convention center. So she was able to come pick us up off the highway. And uh, what we did to save costs is we had the truck towed to her house. And then my dad came from across the whole state. And uh, he towed the truck home on my uncle's uh, truck and trailer instead of paying a company, like a tow truck company, to, to bring that sucker home. What irks me the most um, is we, we broke down on the interstate. So cars are whizzing past at 70 or 80 miles an hour. I got over into the grass as far as I could, but there was this giant hill, this giant embankment there going up uh, from the road so there wasn't much room to get off the road the state trooper pulls up you guys okay everything okay I like, yes sir the truck died and we're just trying to get it towed out of here and then get a ride out of here well you know you can't just park here on the side of the, of the interstate there it's illegal and I'm like you dumb fuck it broke down we can't move it I just told you we've called a tow truck Oh, God, I hate cops so much. No, we stopped for fun. We stopped for kicks and giggles. We're going to stop in one of the most dangerous spots known to man. Ugh. Stupidity of some people. Yeah, we beat my chop. <laughs> it was funny because the name of it is Comic Con. Not that Comic Con, not Kamba Con, Kami. K A I K A M I A, some, something. One of them Japanese words. but it was held in uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and I'm in Talladega. That's two s separate ends of the state. Um, Comic-Con is in California, which is like a thousand miles that way. <laughs> um, just in case anybody's wondering. Actually, I don't know how far, uh, I don't actually know how far California is from here, but it's on the West Coast, and we're on the East Coast, so that, that gives you some sort of idea. I 
Hiker Eric! What's up, my man? Alan. Sometimes I just hear things. One of the dogs in another room might be playing around or something. I'll hear a bump. I won't know what it is. They might need to go out. I'll do that when I get done here. <laughs> Yeah, the tunnel does go a long way, mister. It'd go a lot... It'd go a lot smoother if you didn't have 12 Geo dude that I had to fight. Oh, defense crawl on an already high defense Pokemon. God, I'm glad I have special attacks. <laughs> Now, how did, oh, Razor Leaf is what, 90 accuracy, 95, something like that, or lower? I know it's not as high as uh, Vine Whip. Geo, dude. Whew, starting to get a little hot and sweaty. I'm going to run out of uh, power points for Sonic Boom. I know you're down here. I'm not gonna let you squeak by with your three Pokemon. Snack. So we come out in Lavender and we cut across to Celadon, Erica, the Grass Gem. And then we jet down to Fuchsia, Rokogus, Poison. Then we clear out Team Rocket. And then we can fight Sabrina. 65, 100, 60, it can't be evaded. Mm. I'm going to keep Shockwave. Just for the fact that it cannot be evaded.
Okay. Is this another biker? Oh my god, it is. Ooh, there's a lot of them. It's like when we first started out and there were so many bug catchers, you know. I know I'm going to regret drinking this much water before bed. I'm going to regret it. Ooh, a whole ass graveler. That doesn't always work though, little lady. Bending twigs and rocks and things, as tr leaving little rocks and things as trail markers. It doesn't always work. Weather happens, animals happen, people happen. Still no tackle. Oh, Pidgey. Please. Goodbye, Pidgey. <laughs> Goodbye, Pidgey. Goodbye. Now it's your turn, Meowth. Ooh, we're cutting it dangerously close. It just goes on and on from here. So, uh, Max Ether, your Sonic Boons, and heal you up. Perfect. Then save. Because that's what we're going to call it for today. Because if I don't, we'll be here another hour. Mm -hmm. Well, we got uh, decently far. Um, we pick back up next time. We'll uh, finish going through the cave, come out on the lavender side. And from there, we have a lot of tasks we can accomplish. Um, the first thing we're going to do is jet over to Celadon, though, and tackle a handful of, of things there. So be sure to come back tomorrow as the journey continues.